Oh, good evening. Uh, my name is Leith Sharp. I'm Director of the Executive Education for Sustainability Leadership Program at Harvard Centre for Health and Global Environment. It's my great pleasure to uh, send you some thoughts tonight, um, but it'll be even a greater pleasure to meet you in person in July. Uh, what I wanted to say tonight, I'll just lay out on the table just a few quick thoughts. Um, one of them is that this is a very, very important moment for higher ed um, for many, many reasons. I think we collectively know that in the room. We're facing incredible threats, funding cuts, and a real risk of becoming quite irrelevant uh, if we don't catch up to what society is needing. Um, one of the fundamental dynamics at play here is that higher ed's predominant role in society has been knowledge creation, knowledge dissemination. Um, since the IT revolution, the role of knowledge dissemination has really now become everybody's role. Uh, and the role of knowledge creation is now one that's being outstripped by the need for knowledge application. So by that I mean it's no big deal to have good ideas anymore. It's no big deal to create new understanding. What the big deal is is to apply it to the benefit of humankind. So if higher ed is to remain relevant, it actually has to find a new balance of knowledge creation and knowledge application um, so that we're concerned with the full life cycle of new ideas, not just the creation of a new idea, but we have to become equally concerned with the implementation of new ideas and the gathering of evidence for the value and benefit of those new ideas that we are um, driving into society. Now that's a pretty sort of abstract framing, but why it's so connected to sustainability is that at its heart, sustainability is really forcing us to become absolutely brilliant at creating new ideas and applying new ideas. Um, the pace of change that we've been achieving around sustainability to date has been entirely inadequate. We do need to have a radical increase in the amount of change that we're able to uh, achieve within our institutions, both in terms of curriculum and operations and outreach. So this is what's actually um, created a focus in a conversation that's been going on in earnest for probably the last five or six years. And that conversation has been around the question of if we were to engage our senior leaders in leading on sustainability, what is the most important conversation to get them into? Um, and it's through the last five or six years of consulting internationally, engaging in research, um, the EAUC has been an ongoing thought partner in this, that we've refined our focus and really landed upon the conversation that's most important is a conversation about organisational design. It's a conversation about how ideas are born and how they go through their full life cycle to implementation and beyond to continuous improvement. Um, so this curriculum or this program, this Sustainability Leadership Lab, is an intriguing uh, opportunity for senior leaders who may or may not have drunk the Kool-Aid on sustainability, but it's for any senior leader who is recognising that the pace of change societally is way ahead of the pace of change that higher ed is capable of at the moment. Any senior leader that appreciates that we need to become more agile, that we need to now um, really work at maintaining relevance societally, um, this program's for any leader that at least gets that. Um, the opportunity here is to engage with some very powerful frameworks and some new ideas that have surfaced as a result of the last 20 years of trying to implement sustainability. Um, through thousands and thousands of efforts, some of them failures, some of them successes and a whole bunch in between, through thousands and thousands of efforts of trying to drive new ideas to support sustainability, we've actually been able to diagnose some incredibly recurring patterns that 
create very clear signals as to the work ahead, to reinvent our organisations, to redesign our governance structures, to overhaul our decision-making processes, to think differently about our incentive structures, to bring students more powerfully into the decision-making arena of our institutions so that they can become powerful uh, contributors to our efforts to sense into the future and to maintain our relevance into the future. So I'm really looking forward to seeing many of you in July. Um, this hands down is one of the most important conversations to be in, the conversation about how we ensure that our organisations are as agile and change capable as they need to be and how we can position sustainability to be a powerful driver of innovation and a powerful contributor to our core institutional mission. So have a great night and I hope to see you in July. Good night.